No one is going to watch your video if it doesn't have subtitles. There, I said it. 85% of social media videos are watched without sound, which means no matter how incredible your video is, if you don't include subtitles, no one is listening. In fact, adding subtitles to your video will actually increase the average engagement and audience retention by a whopping 15%, which means that if you are posting a video and you want people to pay attention to it, it needs to have subtitles. Figuring out how to add them to your video can seem costly or time consuming, but because this is so vital to the success of your video, I am sharing with you four free ways that you can add subtitles directly to your video. Make sure you stick around for number four because you're gonna love me forever. I'm Sivan. If you're an entrepreneur who's looking to increase your brand influence through video, then hit subscribe because every week I make your life a little bit easier and help you do just that. Here are the four ways that you can automatically add subtitles to your video for free. The first way that you can add subtitles directly to your video is using a free app. On an iPhone, I would recommend using the app called Clips. It's automatically available on the newer versions of the iPhone, but can also be found in the Apple Store. And for an Android, I would recommend AutoCap, which is also free and actually even more powerful than Clips. So I have an iPhone and I'm gonna show you how to use Clips, but AutoCap is very similar. You can find a bunch of tutorials about that also on YouTube. The way that you add subtitles to your video is by clicking on the titles. And you'll see here that words, you know, speak while recording to add text is popping up. And you can change the look of the subtitle. So if you want it to appear one word at a time, if you want it to be at the top, they have some, you know, where every other word appears in yellow. They have, you know, this kind of thing where it kind of shows up while you're talking. And so as you speak, the words will record and appear directly on the video. So as you see, um, as I'm speaking, the words are actually appearing on the screen. The pros are that this is free. It's relatively simple to use. You can edit any of the subtitles later on. So if the phone didn't understand you, you can always fix it. The cons are that you usually can't record for longer than a minute before the video starts to go all glitchy. You can only film vertical videos. So, you know, if you turn your phone this way, it doesn't work. It doesn't change the text and so that kind of limits you and it's really only meant for talking head videos so if you have something you know some sort of video you want to record for social media whether it's an instagram story or something for facebook and you want to record with subtitles it's great for that but any other type of video that you're recording that you then want to add subtitles later on it's not meant for that if you do want to add subtitles to a video you've already created then follow me to the next free option Okay, so the second way that you can subtitle your videos for free is actually using the auto-generate subtitles on your Facebook business page. This is very effective if you have a video that you're uploading to social media, specifically to Facebook, and you, know, you didn't have time to put subtitles on the actual video, there is a way that you can auto-generate them on Facebook. Now, just a warning, the subtitles only show up if somebody's watching without sound. So if they do click on your video to play, the audio will turn on, but the subtitles will disappear. And it's also only useful if your video is just being shown on Facebook. But if you want to use it for Instagram or YouTube, you cannot transfer the subtitles that you created on Facebook to another video. But it's really effective when you're just uploading it to your business page um, and just want the subtitles to be there because 85% of people are watching without sound. So the way that you do that is you upload the video directly to your business page. Again, this only is available on a business page. And you go to the subtitles and captions you select your language. So unfortunately, I've tried it for a few different languages and it really only works for English. And then you press auto-generate and it is really surprisingly accurate, although it does think that my name is Steven Felder. Okay, now that it's auto-generated, as you see here, you can actually go in and edit it so that you can make sure you don't sound like an idiot. So I made this video where I basically just talk about subtitles. And you can see here, I'm making this video to teach you how to add subtitles directly to your video for free. So that was what I said in the video and it was surprisingly accurate. Another thing is you can't really change the font or positioning of the subtitles. It's just kind of generic what's there. You can change the text. So if I didn't say this, um, I could change it. I could also change how long the subtitle appears. So it is very useful and I use this for a lot of my videos at the beginning when I just didn't have time to create subtitles on the videos. If you want something that you can actually use to create subtitles directly onto your videos and use them for other places with the subtitles, then follow me to the next type of subtitler, veed.io. It's a new website that I just stumbled across. It's still in beta testing, which means that it might be a little bit glitchy, but also means that they're super open to feedback and give everything away for free. You come onto the website, you'll see here, upload a video. So again, I have my video ready that I created of me talking about making subtitles. Put that in. I am making this video to teach you how to add subtitles directly to your video for free. I uploaded my video, 
this actually has a few things you can like edit and add stuff, super cool. I'm just gonna show you how to do subtitles, but you should definitely play around with it. There's an automatic subtitles and a manual subtitles. You can try the automatic subtitles and see if it works. Oh, it worked. Okay, sometimes it will work and sometimes it won't. It will really depend on how bad or good your audio is. So if you're in a very noisy area or if you didn't speak clearly, it might not auto-generate. Here it has some nice, uh, I'm making this video to teach you how to add subtitles. So you can change um, the font. I can make it smaller because it's taking up a lot of space. Um, I can make the background, I can change it so there's no black or um, just outline or have it be red, it's interesting. I can change the font color, uh, you know, I wouldn't go too crazy, fonts should be basically white. Uh, you can add another a subtitle here if it didn't pick it up correctly. You can change where it ends and begins, so I could have this end at two seconds. It's very user-friendly and very um, efficient for making quick videos. Downside is you can only upload a 50 megabyte video. So if you have a long film or if you have a heavy file, it won't work. Um, and I found that the longer the video is or the more things I say, the less effective the auto generate is. Um, and it's because it's a pretty new thing. It is pretty glitchy. But other than that, it seems to work relatively well. To see my favorite way to subtitle videos for free, follow me to the last for the last tutorial on how to subtitle for free, I am going to show you this site, which I have a whole tutorial on how to use this website, Capwing, to actually edit your social media videos. They have a actual auto-generate subtitles option. So here they have like tons of different uh, things. You should definitely check them out, but I go to subtitler. And here, if you have, let's say a YouTube video, you can actually post the URL. In this case, I'm gonna upload the video. The bigger the file is, the longer it will take to upload. You'll see here that you see your video on the left and you can either add a subtitle manually. Again, if you're speaking in a different language, it's not gonna recognize it. Um, if you're speaking fast or it's very noisy, also not gonna recognize it. If you have an SRT file that let's say you've gotten the video transcribed um, and they've actually sent you the file, you can upload the SRT file, which is really cool. And you can also auto-generate. I have actually found it to be incredibly precise. So oh, it's still uploading. And there you have it again. It added the subtitles. This one for me has just been like a little bit easier to use. I don't know, it just made more sense. Um, but it's similar to the one that I just showed you. You can change any of the things, you know, if you, let's say, don't like that there's so many words on this first line, I would probably break it up. So I am making this video to teach you how to add subtitles your videos for free. You can change the timing if you want it to appear sooner and end um, sooner. Maybe. You can change the look. So again, they have a few basic options for font. Um, in general, subtitles should be in a sans serif font, meaning without the little end lines. So Helvetica and Arial are really the standard. And, you know, obviously don't make it too crazy because people don't want to be so distracted when they're watching your video. So I'm gonna probably make the font a little bit smaller, maybe not bolded. Here you can also, you can make it without an out, uh, without a background, you can add an outline, you could make the whole bottom black. What I like about this is that you can actually move the position of the subtitles. But right here you can move the, make it in the middle, which is a little strange, or at the top. Again, I always put my subtitles at the bottom, but you can do a float through vote. And then when you're done, you press create and it exports your beautiful watermark-free video. The reason that I recommend this one is because the other ones all have, you know, a, a con, a downside. You know, even the VDIO one, while it is effective, you can only really upload a short video that's 50 megabytes, whereas Capwing has a much higher Making upload this video. bandwidth, so I've posted five-minute videos here that I've uploaded. I really like that you can download it without a watermark. Capwing also has a lot of editing capabilities so you can you know edit your video and then download it with the subtitles so i would definitely recommend checking this out let me know in the comments below which tool you're going to use to subtitle your videos and if you do post a video with subtitles make sure to tag me and i'd love to support you on this endeavor so i'll see you next week so before you add subtitles to your video you should make sure that it's actually fully edited if you want to learn how to edit your videos for free online check out this video where i walk you through it